Welcome to the Rugged.com Fantasy Rundown. It's your host, Justin Becker. Let's get to it. And I want to start with our top performers. Let's go with Jose Batista from Toronto. You guys, Jose Batista, last year's home run king, is on a tear. He is playing with the heart of a dragon and the strength of a polar bear. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it does mean he's batting over 400 in his last seven games with six home runs and eight RBIs. He also has four stolen bases this season. Batista is playing like an MVP. Don't be surprised if that continues throughout the year. Next up is Starlin Castro from Chicago Cubs. Now, Castro is batting 522 with six RBIs and five runs, scored in his last seven games. You know what? Any shortstop with a high batting average right now is awesome. Now, not to mention, it makes my friend, Playboy Playmate, and Super Cubs fan, Lindsey Vecchioni, very happy. All right, Ian Kennedy from the Arizona Diamondbacks is another guy who is on a tear. Eight quality starts this season, and he's only given up more than three runs once this entire season. After a great performance last week against the Dodgers, look for Kennedy to finish strong through the All-Star break. But you know, with that being said, I kind of want to sell him, and I'm going to tell you why. D-backs rank at the bottom half of almost every offensive category. Kenny won't be getting a whole lot of run support this season, which makes wins harder to come by than getting a Justin Bieber concert ticket. Baby, 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 oh, baby, 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 baby. Bieber, Bieber, in, guys. I am sorry. Time to hit the waiver wire. First up, Yunel Escobar from the Blue Jays. Now, Escobar has hit safely in 10 of his last 11 games, and he's actually scored a run in six out of his last seven. Escobar is flat out producing for the Blue Jays, and that's reflected by a 63% ownership. If you need some help at the shortstop position, definitely get on the waiver wire fast and pick this guy up if he's available. Next up, I like Lance Nix from the Washington Nationals. Nix is only owned in 12% of leagues, and many on the waiver wire kind of balked the idea that he had a day off with right-hander Mike Morse. But we're extremely confident in Nix's playing time. He is batting 310 for the season, over 400 in his last seven games. He's definitely worth picking up. Next up, Cameron Mabin from the Padres. Now, Mabin is playing really well the past few games. He's batting close to 500, two home runs, seven RBIs. You know, but don't count on Mabin to be a huge RBI guy for you for the rest of the season. That being said, he does have six stolen bases and a solid batting average. Mabin is a great value player. He's only owned in 55% of leagues. If you need a spot in your utility, I definitely pick him up. Next up, I like Austin Jackson, another center fielder, Detroit. Jackson is very similar to Maven that he won't dominate in any one of the statistical categories, but can definitely fill up a stat sheet with runs and steals. His strikeouts are a bit worrisome, but he's having a great month of May, and we see his hot streak riding all the way through June. He is owned in 65% of leagues, so get him before he is gone. Next up is center fielder Corey Patterson from the Toronto Blue Jays. Now, Patterson, he started 11 games in a row. His playing time has stood up even with Jose Batista's return to the outfield. Patterson has gone 12 for 35 with 7 RBI over his last 8 games, so the playing time should continue to roll. Patterson is another guy that can provide you fantasy team with stolen bases. He's only owned in 11% of leagues, so he's worth taking the flyer on him and see how it goes. Next up, you know we have to do it. It's time for Dirty Balls. First up, Juan Pierre. Why? Because Juan Pierre, you've stolen six bases, great, but it took you 14 attempts to do it. You're getting picked off like crazy. You only have 20 hits of your last 100 at bats. You are a dumpster fire. This is what I get for picking up a player with a French name. I shouldn't have trusted you then, and I definitely don't trust you now. Next up, Andre Ethier. You know what, the last seven games, he's gone four for 24 with what, just two ribbies? That totals 167 batting average and a lot of angry Ethier fans. Yeah, yeah, he had an impressive history going early in the season. But you know what, this fantasy baseball game, it's a what have you done for me lately type of game. Get your mind right, Andre. Enjoy these dirty balls in your face. And you know who's next? I have to hate to call this guy out. Derek Jeter from the New York Yankees. The last seven games, good old Captain Yank, you look almost identical to Andre Ethier. So it's definitely no surprise you've made the list, Derek. Used to be my inspiration in life. You've taken down some of the all-time best. I'm talking about Scarlett Johansson, pre-crazy Mariah Carey, 
Jessica Biel, the list goes on and on. Now you're engaged, you're hitting 255, and you're in a slump. I hope these dirty balls help you get out of both slumps, baseball and the ladies. All right, guys, that is it for this week. Stay tuned next week. We'll go over some more dirty balls, waiver wire, and players that are top performers. Till next time, I'm Justin Becker, and I'm out.